Hey guys, Yulia here. So today's garden tour is all about the tulips. They are in their prime right now. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go over every variety that I have here and some in the backyard and also go over some of the care tips for the tulips. Here's the overview of our sidewalk garden and I will start with these uh, trium fader tulips. And these are beautiful lily type tulips which I've had in the garden for about seven years. And I will talk about tulips perennializing a little bit later in this video, but lily tulips perennialize in my garden. Now, interesting thing about the trium fader is that it opens up yellow like that. I found a fresh flower for you to, uh, for comparison. And then they fade to more buttery yellow and then to pure white. So you get three tulips in one. Now these right here are pink impression tulips and I've had them here for about a couple of years. These are mandile tulips. I will have a little bit more or better example of them um, down in the sidewalk right there. Now majority of the tulips that I have here are called double flag tulips and these are the beautiful purple tulips and some people say they look like peonies they totally do to me they are absolutely gorgeous double tulips they have a very strong stem because some of the double tulips um, have a weaker stem for the size of the flower so they tend to flop I actually forced some double flags uh, this past winter in the house and they were magnificent. I had these tulips um, in a pot in the house as a beautiful display in February. So they're a good candidate for forcing. Now all of these tulips here are interplanted with perennials. So once um, they will start to fade and their foliage will yellow, the uh, perennials will come in and take over. And that is pretty important because you don't want to look at that yellowing foliage um, for a couple of weeks. Uh, so here is another tulip that is absolutely gorgeous. This is Claudia. And Claudia is another lily type tulip and I only could get my hands on 20 of these last year and I wasn't sure where I wanted to plant them so I actually potted them up and you can see the pot right there I did not take them out of the pot I just uh, planted them straight in the pot like this now um, the way you plant your tulips in pots you just put some tulip bulbs in pots with soil and you keep them either in cool garage or somewhere around your garden where it doesn't get really really cold so I actually kept these next to the house with uh, some frost blankets over them and they did just fantastic and of course there's more double flag tulips here this is view from the top just a beautiful very strong performance tulips now the double tulips do not perennialize for me but seeing how well the double flags perform i feeling that i should be leaving them here and see what comes back next year so i will not be pulling these out now let me talk about this beautiful mondial tulip look at this so they um, have a little bit of a pink tinge to it and they look gorgeous with these beautiful double flags right here they're a little bit shorter and I like that difference in height it gives it a lot more interest Here's another pot of Claudia right there. And um, this is one of the tips that I want to give you right now. 
um, is if you want to grow any special type tulips, you probably should pre-order them right now because last year I had the most difficult time finding um, specialty tulips because you know everything that was going on and people were interested in more gardening than ever before and I think this trend will continue and I'm really glad but the trend is causing shortages now this um, area right here is all about the pink impression and they do look a little bit on the redder side but they will fade to more of a pale pink and let me show you something interesting here so these tulips right here which are gorgeous absolutely magnificent um, they were sold under the pink impression label but I'm uh, almost certain that it is apricot impression because of the difference in the color look at that difference right there and um, pink impression tulips perennialized for me all of these or most of these are actually from the year before and so are these and I am sorry you guys I forgot the names of these I think it's uh, surely something um, when I find the name I will throw it up on the screen but aren't these so beautiful and look how beautiful they look with the Dicentra spectabilis in the background and that is the Dicentra that I divided last fall in the video as you can see all of it is blooming beautifully right now and uh, I just wanted to quickly show you another tulip that I have here they are later tulips and this is Queen of Night right here I just see the first one open and I will post on the screen the idea for this space um, so a few years ago I had the Queen of Night blooming with the Dicentra and our beautiful cherry tree above me Kwanzaa cherry was losing its petals and it's just starting to lose its petals but when it's losing its petals this entire space looks pink and it was the most spectacular display so I'm trying to recreate it this year there's a quick view from under the cherry now a lot of you asked what about the deer we have a deer problem and I do have some of the tulips um, chomped by deer and uh, I spray religiously because I just love tulips I love daffodils they don't need any care but I love tulips it's nothing like having this absolutely spectacular color display so the sprays that I use are liquid fence repel all and plant skid and I do rotate them because um, animals get used to certain scents so it is a good idea to rotate whatever the method of treatment that you're using whether you're trying to get rid of insects or herbivores um, so this is the way these tulips are still here um, I only spray once a week if it's not raining and um, it only takes 10 minutes it's totally worth it here is an adorable tulip that I have in my garden this is called tulipa tarda and it is one of the botanical species tulip which means it has not been cultivated this is a wild variety and the interesting thing about these tulips is that they are not bothered by deer and there are uh, different uh, types of uh, botanical species tulips I'm um, thinking about collecting them all but this is so far the one that I have right now I love them they look like omelets with a little yolk in the middle and then the white on the outer edge of the petals and um, these have been here for more than 10 years so um, botanical tulips perennialize reliably 
Here's a little bit more of a smaller display that I have in the backyard. This mix was called um, Night in Paris. And I do not know the names of all these individual tulips, but the white ones are absolutely spectacular. And they are interplanted with smaller pink and maroon tulips. Midday, like it is right now, the white tulips open really wide and they are huge. And they are actually attracted uh, a lot of bees. And um, it was sort of surprising. And you can see the beautiful Japanese maple in the background. So if you want to try out tulips, you've never grown them before, this is 100 tulips. And look how beautiful this looks. Just maybe on the side of your house or next to your mailbox. They last about two to three weeks, depending on your weather. But isn't this so precious? Here in the flower garden, I decided to step out of my comfort zone and plant some warmer color tulips. And unfortunately, they sent me wrong tulips. So I do not know the names of these, but they are interesting. They are striped right there and those right there is a warmer sort of softer color orange so these right here I also grew in pots last winter and I just love the flexibility of growing things in pots because I can pop them in containers like this I can include them in beds um, if I have some holes that I need to fill so definitely try it it is not that difficult all right let's talk about the care of the tulips and because a lot of you are at different levels of gardening today I will assume that all of us are beginners in gardening and we know nothing about tulips so tulip is a bulb that you plant in the fall and it will bloom in the spring. So you have to buy some bulbs in the fall and plant them and you will have this beautiful display. The bigger the bulb, the better quality flower that you will get. So definitely seek out good quality um, sources. I like color blends and uh, Dutch bulbs. And I also buy a lot of my bulbs in Costco, which carries the Lawn Field uh, brand and they have uh, high quality bulbs. So after you plant your tulips, and I do have a video about it, I will link it down below about how I planted all of this, um, and daffodils as well. And I used a pro plugger to plant these many tulips uh, or any sorts of bulb, you need a, a special tool, either an auger or a pro plugger to make a job go faster. Um, and after you plant these bulbs, you pretty much leave them alone. But there is um, a little um, caveat with that. It de really depends on where you are in the world because if you live down south, your weather in the winter may not be cold enough to make sure that um, tulips like these are produced because tulips require a certain number of chill hours in the winter. So if you live in a southern climate, you can buy pre-chilled bulbs and plant them that way and you will be successful. If you uh, do not have enough chill hours, your bulbs can come up de deformed or really, really short. So definitely check it out um, and pre-chill your bulbs before planting them if you live down south. Now in the spring, when you see those small shoots start to come up, you can fertilize your bulbs. And I fertilize my bulbs either with bone meal or with bulb tone. This way I ensure high quality flowers this year. And also if I decide to perennialize my bulbs, um, they will create bigger bulb for next year's bloom. After these beautiful flowers are done blooming, I cut the seed heads. So these flowers will form seed heads and I will cut the seed heads, but I will leave the foliage intact. So it will soak up the sun and will store that energy and direct it straight into the bulbs for the next year's bloom. And um, after the foliage dries, which takes about a couple of weeks, and that's why I like to interplant my tulips with a lot of other perennials, so they hide that decaying foliage 
and you can't really see it because I have a lot of geraniums here and bleeding hearts and other plants that hides that uh, unattractive foliage. So after that foliage uh, dries, you can remove it and um, wait until next year until your tulips bloom. Now, uh, Darwin hybrids like these um, pink impression right here perennialize really well in my area and so do lily type tulips and the botanical tulips are true perennials in my area. However, double tulips I haven't had good luck with but I have a good feeling about these double flags so I am going to leave these. I'm not going to pull them out and I'm going to see whether they're going to perennialize. Um, and this is pretty much it for the tulip care. They're really an amazing uh, flower to try. Even if you've never grown tulips, you can plant some in the fall. Just plant a hundred and see how you feel about them next spring. Um, and enjoy. Uh, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you learned something new in this video, and I will see you in the next one.